Hello and welcome to the Car Care channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to service your rear brakes on Toyota Lexus models that are equipped with electronic parking brake. Now, this procedure will not require a scan tool and it's a simple procedure that anybody can do before you replace your rear brakes. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Consider subscribing to the channel, check out some of my other videos. If you're a returning subscriber, Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos and without further ado, let's get right to it. So a small overview before we get started. If your car is equipped with this system, electronic parking brake, you will have a button to engage and disengage the parking brake. Now the idea here is the rear caliper has a motor attached to it. That motor turns and pushes the caliper to engage the parking brake. So when you're replacing rear brakes, you can't push the caliper piston in because that motor is in the way and that motor doesn't move very easily. It's like a, a gear motor that you can't just push with your hand. Plus, if you force it in, you could damage the motor or it would lose its calibration and now the parking brake doesn't work. So the idea here is the procedure that we're gonna do with this video it's going to put the car in brake replacement mode. So it's going to wind that motor all the way back and out of your way. So when you compress your caliper piston, it's not in the way. And then when you're done, it'll self calibrate and we're good. Having said that, let's go inside the car and show you how this procedure works. Let's describe the procedure before we do it. When the light is on on the button, the parking brake is engaged. First step, we're going to disengage the parking brake. Then we're going to turn the key on to the on position. And within eight seconds, we're going to put the foot on the brake, engage the parking brake three times, and then release it three times, and then press and hold it on the release. Oh, you're going to do all this with your foot on the brake and the car is not running. And then you will hear the motor wind back all the way until it stops. You're not going to let go of this button. Let's try it live. Let's start the procedure. You're gonna turn the key on. Disengage the parking brake. Turn the key off. Now turn the key on again. Foot on the brake. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then press and hold and wait. It's gonna take a little bit of time until you hear that motor whine. Just like right now. Wait for it to finish. When it's done, the light will start flashing like that. And then on the dash, you're gonna get another warning light that is flashing, which is the parking light. Just like you see in this video. At this point, you're ready to service the brakes. When you are done servicing your brakes, turn the key on, press and hold the brake button, and then we're gonna pull the parking brake up. Just pull and hold it like this until you hear the motor whine. It's like you hear it right now. Wait for it to stop. Now it's stopped, then engage your parking brake and you're done. Folks, I'll tell you a little bit of uh, tips on this one. This procedure will give you a hard time. It is so finicky and it just, it doesn't work all the time. If it does happen to you where it doesn't want to disengage after you do the procedure, stop, turn off the key, Give the car a few minutes because the computer sometimes just gets confused and it doesn't want to do anything. If that's the case, stop, give it a few minutes of off time and then try it again. So let me walk over the procedure in writing. Step number one, get in the driver's seat, open the door, leave the door open. Disengage your parking brake. To disengage your parking brake, turn the key on, foot on the brake, push the button down until you hear it disengage. Turn off the key. Turn the key on again. You're gonna press one, two, three, quick up. Then one, two, three, down, quick. And then you're gonna push it down and hold it. You're gonna to continue to hold it until you hear the motor whine for a very long time. That's the motor coming out until it stops and then your light on the dash starts flashing, flashing not quick. During this procedure, your park brake, your park light on the dash will start flashing very rapidly. Don't worry about that. You eventually get to a point where it flashes like on, off, on, off, as you see in this video. That's when you know 
it's done, it's in service mode. Now you go to your rear brakes and you treat them like you don't have parking brake. You're just gonna take your caliper off, compress it, do your brake job. Once you're done, pump your brake pedal, just like anything else. I will leave a link right here for my series on how to replace brakes like a pro, so you guys have those tips. But once you're done, you're gonna get in the car, turn the key on, pull the parking brake button and hold it until you hear that motor wind again. So it's gonna wind, 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 reach the end, stop, and then come back a little bit. You hear it like wind back, and it's gonna leave you in a parking brake released, engage your parking brake, and you're done. This can be frustrating, and it's gonna give you a little bit of a hard time. I know because I do this, and sometimes it just doesn't wanna go. But just remember, when you turn the key on, you're gonna start the one, two, three, one, two, three procedure. You have eight seconds to start. So I recommend you practice this. This doesn't hurt anything. Even before you do your brake jabs, or even if you're not even, you're just watching this video just to learn it for the future, go in your car and try it. Even with the car off on the ground, you're not doing brakes. Try it, learn it, because this will save you from needing a scan tool. Otherwise, in a scan tool, you just push a button and it does the same thing. But this procedure was, it was made by Toyota like that, so anybody can service these brakes. So this is not some German car that you need all these expensive special tools, because they know Toyotas are gonna be driven by awesome, intelligent people who fix their own car. And one more tip on the parking brake before I let you go, guys. So you notice in these cars that are equipped with a parking brake, when you put the car in park, it automatically engages the parking brake, but sometimes they don't. I just wanna to bring to your attention that on these cars with the electronic parking brake, if you just pull up the parking brake switch and hold it for more than five seconds, that changes the mode to automatic. So now every time you put your car in park, it automatically engages the parking brake. If you wanna make, put it back in manual mode, push, start the car, even when the car is running or your key is on, put your foot on the brake, release the parking brake, and then hold the button down for five seconds. That puts it in manual mode. So now every time you put it in park, it does not automatically engage it. I recommend you always leave it in automatic mode. Parking brake is good for safety, but in case you wanted to change that setting or you went to manual mode, you don't know how to bring it back, now you know, just hold the parking brake up, hold it up for five seconds and it'll automatically go in auto, auto mode. One more thing about the button, and, and most people think about this, I was like, wait a minute, what's release and what's engage? Think of the manual lever that you pull up. When you pull the lever up, you engage the parking brake. So when you pull the button up, you're simulating pulling the parking brake. When you release the parking brake, you're putting it down. So you're gonna push the button down and that's how you'll easily remember what's, what's engaged and what's disengaged. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it was informative. I hope you learned something new. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to my channel. Check out some of my other Toyota videos. And until the next video, may the Lord bless you and keep you and you have a wonderful day.